Hi everyone, I just wanted to pop in to show you what I bought. It comes in this little little box. So I'm sure that you already know if you watch my vlog that I did not buy the belt and I need you guys' opinion. So here we go. And the little item comes in with the little dust bag. And here it is. Ta-da! It's called the Zippy Mutsuka. So here's the thought process when I bought this. I was also using my Alma BB recently. Uh, I will do uh, what's in my bag for my Alma BB. Thank you for the request. Uh, so that will be coming soon. And I love the Alma BB because I'm able to put my full-size wallet in it. It's just good to have such a small bag that you can put your full-size wallet in a pinch. I don't usually like to change wallets and that's the only wallet I have to be honest but I just felt like when I try to fit my big wallet and then now I have my bigger camera and bigger cell phone I just felt like it was so cumbersome and so inconvenient I went in without really knowing exactly what I wanted to get and what would be the most suitable for my needs uh, I obviously had the emprunt clay in mind. There are tons of you who love the emprunt clay and I, I love it too, it's beautiful. But it just didn't work out for me in the end because uh, I wanted to be able to so basically use this as my wallet. I use mostly my credit cards and my debit cards but if I was traveling then obviously I needed you know some cash and I want to be able to have the flexibility of putting that in but as well when I'm here I want to just be able to mostly put my cards and sometimes put my key fob in it my car key fob and you're gonna think I'm crazy because this is a card case but I was actually able to put my key fob in it and uh, it's only a temporary thing because with my nicer camera and my new phone I just didn't want those two things to get scratched obviously I can get cases for, for those two things but it's just two things that I take out in and out like all the time because I'm constantly vlogging or I'm constantly checking my phone so those two things if I had other cases for those two things it would just become so annoying for this slot I would leave it for my car key fob and for this one and this one as well as these ones I was able to put my card so I was able to put one card here one card here so that's four cards and then in the space here, I was able to put at least like four or five cards on each of those. So that pretty much is the cards that I would need even if I was traveling. It was a tight fit obviously with all the cards and my key fob. But the key fob was more like a temporary thing that I wanted to be able to use this for. And um, any of the space that I have cards in, I can also put folded cash or coins which was very very useful. I normally don't have cash or coins with me but if I was traveling and I was using that then obviously I wouldn't have my key fob then I would be able to utilize all the compartments for either cash, coins or cards so I just thought this was such a nice item and I like that it's, it's such a compact nice feel item that you can just hold in your hands and open easily. Between all these four items I just thought that this was really what suits my needs more. First of all, I like the size of it. It is it is a little bit puffier than the coin purse, zippy coin purse, but it is smaller though. So when you're really trying to work with all your other bulky items, I find it just slips in and out easily of the bag. Um, I feel like because it's, it's, I mean, it's thicker, but it's still smaller in a sense. I will definitely do a more proper sort of review or sort of like how I fit different things um, for different usage for you guys. I really like leather zipper pulls to be honest because I find that because it's leather, uh, first of all it won't tarnish and I just like the feel like of how you can easily grab and open it. You know, I'm not too worried about it getting wrinkly or anything in the end it's leather so I'm fine with that actually, I really do like it. So, um, and here's the interior. It's so beautiful, it's an accordion style, it has all these 
studs. This is gonna be such a practical little item that I might even end up using this as my main wallet for most of the time. Even though I do prefer having a full-size wallet because it's just more convenient, right? But in the end, I don't know, who knows, maybe I'll... If I don't switch out my wallets that often, then this will become sort of maybe one of my most used items. So this is the point where I need your help. If you haven't watched my latest vlog where I went to shop at LV and it was an unplanned trip, please go to my link here and go watch it and then tell me what you think because I fell in love with uh, one of the LV belts. The reason why I'm looking at a belt from LV is because I thought if I just invest in one nice belt that I can wear high-waisted, so whenever I'm wearing a dress and I want to cinch in the waist, that can be useful. And also when I'm wearing certain pants that I just might want to use a belt to accentuate as an accessory. Uh, I mean, otherwise I wouldn't wear any belts because I I just don't like the feeling as much. Now, the problem is when I tried the size, so I have two sizes. So 75 was great when I cinched in the waist at the smallest hole. And then the largest hole does accommodate some of my pants, but not the lowest waist jeans that I have. So I don't know if maybe that's like, not worth it then because if I can't wear it with some of my jeans that are low waist and that's also the best time to wear a belt because that looks the best with lower waist even though it looks really great on my cinched in waist when I wear a dress or whatever like a cardigan so that's the dilemma I'm having the size 80 will fit probably all of the pants that I have low waist or higher waist um, pants but uh, if I wanted to use it to cinch in my waist when I'm wearing a dress or a cardigan then it won't work because it's too big even at the smallest setting so that's my dilemma and then I thought about making me like punching a hole in it but I don't know I don't like to alter my LV items this is where I don't know where to do, what to do do I buy one first of all and which size do I pick 75 or 80 or maybe I shouldn't buy it at all because I don't like to wear belts that much anyways I think that's enough rambling I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing slash um, chit chat need your advice type of video so let me know down below in the comments what you think I already got some feedback from you guys from Instagram and it was very helpful I just want to think about it a little bit more and see what the rest of you think and so yeah that's it thank you so much for watching I'm Amy and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do and like this video if you did enjoy it and I will talk to you again very soon bye